I just like how Caesar went to the efforts of like wrapping this gigantic candy. Just, just for the presentation of it. Like Smiley doesn't care. It's, it's food is food. You know what I mean? Rose has been locked up for God knows how long, but he really was like, yeah, let's, let's get a giant wrapper. How do you order that, man? I know these goofy goobers down here have no idea what's going on or how to make something like that. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We are still in Punk Hazard and stuff is chaotic to say the least. Smiley is inherently being auctioned off i'm guessing this is sort of to display the true power of it him what have you and it's one of those things where there isn't one i feel like right way to fight back against it because it's such an enormous unit that i feel like this is going to turn into more of an escape the island type thing than defeat smiley because how how do you defeat it man even if you cut it up like i, I don't know it's it's at the point where it's this the, a size so large that you can't do anything right drop a like on this one let's go it's digesting. Smiley. Papa's so proud of you, Smiley. Also, yeah, we don't even know what happens now that the, the candy has been consumed. I'm guessing Smiley just gets stronger and stronger. Hey, he's already strong enough. Oh my gosh. Buddy is struggling mentally. Why is there a spoon now? So everything just gets stuck to his face, man. Well, oh my God, how many layers was to this candy? I mean, maybe the wrapper was to protect it. Maybe I'm stupid. Maybe it like makes Smiley more aggressive. I don't know. Oh. Is it in pain? Is it happy? Wait, what do you mean, Sanji? Nothing's happened. Everything's already strange. Oh no, he looks like his tummy's upset. Poor Smiley. Oh, it's launching more. Uh oh. Uh oh. S Smiley? It looks like a frog. It's had pole. Wait, it actually does look like a frog. There's no way Luffy was that on the money, bro. Am I stupid? Why are they just standing there waiting for something to happen? Run! Smiley, mata ao. What? See you again? What is going on? Magic apples. Ah! A devil fruit! Wait, how did that apple just transform? He's changing colors. Wait, is it gonna absorb the devil fruit? Wait, what? How did that apple shape shift, man? It's just expanding and growing. I feel like Smiley's just gonna take over the whole island. Okay. Not sure why you stood there so long watching that. Just made no sense whatsoever. It's your funeral, though. Nope, nope, completely deserved. I'm sorry. I feel no guilt that you stopped running. It's freezing them. Oh my gosh. Wait, doesn't it look like freezing? It looks like they're turning to like stone. I can't even tell. I think it is stone, yeah. This is a weapon of mass destruction because you can't defend against it inherently. Just a cloud. Gas clings to people's bodies. Oh my god. So it's poison gas that clings your body and paralyzes you? Oh my gosh, man. No, they're like dying. Yeah, for sure. One Piece is okay with parting with unnamed randoms. Oh my, what are those? I don't think they showed that group last time. Or the person with like the alcohol. Masaka. Oh my great googly moogly. Nah, bro, G5 got so unlucky, man. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, they would have ended up here with Smoker either way, but they were so gung-ho about this. Yeah, the lab's sealed off. They're just gonna nuke the island and then they're fine inside. I mean, at least a lot of our group is inside, but... The screen just showing their impending doom. No worries, it's showing Chopper's bag because Chopper's on the case. He's gonna free quite literally everyone. I mean, unironically, he's he's pretty good hope that he's he's one of the only people out and free. Speak of the others out and free. Brown beard, my goat. But he should not be alive, quite frankly. Yeah, give us a replay of the barrel shoved down his throat. Oh, and Gastonette. Yeah, no, he got nuked too, not to mention. And he's fine. 
<laughs> I mean, she can do it in Sanji's body and kick it. Just use your legs. Use his body, man. Don't let Brian Beard die like this. Although, listen, if he survived the guns and the explosion, I doubt Oda would let him die like this. Damn! I love how Brad Beard's getting an entire, like, sort of arc in Pug Hazard, bro. He was just this joke when he was first introduced. To me, at least. And now he's on our side. I mean, not on our side, but against Caesar at the very least. Yeah, we have a similar... Uh, the, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. That's how it, how it goes, right? Nope. What smoke? Oh my gosh. Looks like it's approaching slowly, but it's such an enormous amount that... Then run! It's like an avalanche. It kind of looks like an avalanche. It's going to cover the entire outside of the island. Literally, everybody has to get inside. Aw, shoot. He's going to book it, baby. Those giant legs. If anybody gets caught, we leave. It's the harsh truth, the harsh truth, man. What are you supposed to do? Slice the smoke? <laughs> oh my gosh. They run in like Brooke does on water, bro. All of them. This is so stupid. There's no way they're just outrunning it on sheer willpower. The dragon. Yeah, dude. Why is the dragon not just flying away? Is it stupid? This dragon is not going to be happy with him trying to ride on it, bro. Not in the slightest. You see it on the camera? <laughs> oh my gosh, Robin's smile. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Law noticing more and more who he's teamed up with. Does he think they can hear him? Is he stupid? <laughs> yes, they are, Mr. Clown. Land of death. Well, that's what Shinokuni means. He's literally transforming the entire island. This is an island of death. I mean, we're kind of chilling in the lab for now. Oh, oh maybe not. Why is he opening that? Oh, he's just dumping them out. Oh my gosh. Bro. He's just going to air their deaths? Yeah, dude, that increases how much people would pay for it to be able to take down these big hitters. It is honestly, unironically, very impressive how far they've, they've gotten against such a formidable group and how far Caesar's gotten. Come on, Chopper! It's the hour to clutch up! There's gotta be something he can do. They're falling so slowly. So he actually did get it for the kids? Like he's able to get them? What? Did somebody just throw that at him? <laughs> what was that? Don't do anything. <laughs> you know, actually, who threw that? It could have been any of them in the cage. <laughs> he just put him on full display. They think it's like them to save the day, yeah. Damn, we're all gonna die! <laughs> oh, front row seat of the entire crew dying. That'd be really dark if it gets there. But like, how are they supposed to get inside? Uh, why is a uh, good music playing? Y yeah. <laughs> they have a plan? What? How? Oh! He realized that we were that far in. 603. Oh, there he is, baby. Bro, his arm. He's got like a hook glove. Oh my gosh, man. Killer got more ripped somehow. I want to see Killer's face. He got some like gnarly facial hair. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Law is nobody's dog, baby. Them realizing that they're there, that he's like, oh yeah, I, I'm not. Dude, this looks like a sick, like, good castle thing. I don't know where he lives, but. Oh! Yo! 
Scratchman! And there's Hawkins. Bro, is he... What is happening? Of our lair. Oh, wait, they have a lair together? What? I thought he was under attack, man. Oh, he summoned Scratchman. Wait, why would he call him? Did he call Hawkins too? <laughs> I want to see what they're meeting about. Dude, kid looks gnarly with the scars. <laughs> Killer's like freaking out, bro. He's trying to keep everybody like just in check. Oh, shoot. That'd be a crazy alliance. So Law wanted a, a, an alliance with the Straw Hats, and now they're... Hmm. They have their own agenda. I like it. What? What? Burn this chain with a beam? So they don't have, like, a concrete plan. His nipples. Oh. <laughs> Can he actually? What? Oh, he spits it. Wait, couldn't he just do that to the entire cage? I guess he could, like, hurt them or even kill them. Why set that on fire, though? Pacifista esque. That's the second time he's compared him to a pacifista. What? 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 The smoke was to cover them. How did he get it off, though? Number of railer chains everywhere. What? He replaced normal the, the, the C prison with normal chains? Bro! That's so RNG though that he got the one that was normal. Oh my gosh. Well, at least he planned in advance. As in freed smoker slash Tashigi. I got serious lost days though. Ooh. Yeah, actually though. Mmm. They could owe him. Mm-hmm. <gasps> he swapped them! Smoker's back! Tashigi's back! Let's go, dude. Bro. Oh, he was sitting like a guy? <laughs> just everything was just out there. Yeah, I'm not surprised Smoker's saying that, though. Because if they grovel here and can help save the children, it's worth groveling. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, more chaos if smokers lose. Ooh. Ooh. Smoker would keep his word, too, I think. Law knows he has leverage over him right now. Smoker would be a man of his word. He's gonna say yes. Yeah, he has to. He does. He's not gonna die there. That just cuts back and he's just dead. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Sort of like a mutual respect between the two. Luffy, don't. Don't, man! No smoke! The whole smoke plan was to cover you! Oh my god, what is he doing? Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Law's gonna have to learn that sooner or later, and he's getting a very d fresh lesson in it. Luffy is just this free spirit. You cannot control this man. <laughs> he's, he's taking everything in him to not scream. Oh my gosh, bro. He's flying! What the f is happening? The Shigi's back. Smoker's back. Okay, now we need to get Sanji and Nami flipped, bro. Are they the last two? I think they are. Like I said, he was bound to find out eventually. I mean, he knew how much of a loose cannon Luffy already was before he asked, but at least Luffy is strong enough to back up his goofiness and his um, irresponsibility, we'll say. Oh, where's the poison cloud? Oh, there it is. I mean, maybe the fire will push some of it back? I don't know. Probably not. Dude, if it were me, I'd be slamming against the door still. I know it seems like not possible, but I mean, at that point, 
or at least like start running around the building looking for some secret door or something i don't know anything bro literally anything how have they not caught the dragon yet it's still so far cardio pulmonary functions why say it like that man my gosh my goodness gracious he's like i have to live she's too perfect brother okay dude okay dude go brown beard faster he's not even moving that fast there's the dragon <laughs> did sanji just tell it to slow down for them bro brook that's what I was saying. It has wings. Maybe it's just like a baby. I mean, it's way smaller than the other dragons, so it could be a tiny, like a, a smaller one or just like a younger one. Wait, but he's already. I was gonna say he's already bone, but how did how did how did how did Bravier get down there? Okay, man. And now he's running. Wait, we could get the whole group reunited. Because they're out front. And then Law could switch them. This poor dragon, bro. They're weighing the dragon down too much. I mean, yeah, Bradbeard said each one is like a dwarf. Like, it's nothing to him, he said. He's going to carry the dragon, too? Bradbeard carrying the whole squad while injured. <laughs> ah. Okay, the dragon just makes it like 20 times worse. Oh. What is he doing? He's making an entrance. Bro, Law coming in clutch. He can make an entrance for all the all the men too. Maybe Smoker asked him like he agreed to it if he saved his men. And he knew that if he would agree, there was a chance his men could live. And if not, then they wouldn't. So it wasn't just him sacrificing himself or not. It was his men too. He had to put his ego aside for them. His whole pride. They're opening it from the inside. Yes, sir. The beacon of light. It's going to be law on all of them. And the shutter. Wait. The shutter opening poses danger for everybody inside the lab if even any smoke gets in. Oh, shoot. <laughs> That's a cool shot, man. Smoker law and Luffy are all inside. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> this goes against everything Smoker knows. It's actually a very good character development for him out of anything in this arc so far. Smoker is, is a lot of things are happening to Smoker. I'm not going to lie. Aside from his heart getting swapped. Like this is never something he would ever do in a billion years under the right circumstances. Oh, oh my gosh, it's going to be them. Brownbeard and them. Hold the door. Hold the door. Oh, shoot. Brownbeard, you've got to give it your all, man. Maximum overdrive. I feel like G5 will tell them to keep it open. <laughs> okay. Bro, I'm going to be honest. I don't think even anything would even happen. You're already stoned, basically. Wait, cut iron. Wait, he shouldn't, though. Then everybody in the lab is done, so. Cut it at the right speed. Then you're just killing everybody inside, man. Oh, no. Nah. This is a terrible idea. Bro, I like how serious both of them got. The two swordsmen. Again, I reiterate, what happens to everybody inside then? Oh, they're just going at it. Bro, the flame! The rain, baby! The two Jigga Chads! The three! I like how brown beards become a part of this. Okay, now now smoke gets in. Now, now the poison gets in. Have they thought about this? Have they considered this? All right, could you glue it back or? Everybody's back, baby. Now we just kind of swap Nami and Sanji. And you know, the giant door that's opened and I don't understand why nobody's pointing out. Like, it feels like I'm crazy, man. Am I crazy? One of the funniest part about all of this is I feel like the most substantial thing to happen in these two was the fact that Kid, Hawkins, 
and Scratchman are teaming up and I guess and Killer, but like their crews are teaming up or at least they're trying to. I feel like that inherently goes to show how brutal the new world is because previously we're in the grand line and they were all these just giant sort of rookies that made a name for themselves. And then they get to the new world. We see Kid has like, I don't know if his arm's completely gone or if his arm's inside this metal thing, but he's got these scars at the very least. Like he's been through it. It seems like Killer, Scratchman, and Hawkins are all relatively the same physically at the very least, but mentally they've probably gone through a lot, especially considering they've, I think, been a lot further into the new world because we saw them at all these random islands whenever we checked in on them. So I feel like that just suddenly shows that this is a very brutal place where you have to team up. Of course, we're going to have to know more about Law's plan that he wants to enact with Luffy and which even emperor he wants to target because we still don't even know, but their reasoning for teaming up could be anything else else maybe targeting an emperor as well maybe it's straight up just to get further and to have a stronger sort of crew i don't know it just takes a lot for those pirates in particular to set their egos aside and their pride aside because they're all very strong especially kid like kid would not just team up with these other crews just for funsies like you would have to need a reason 100 it's sort of why like the same way i see luffy and law like they both stand so strong on their own it's not like luffy has an ego or anything but law wouldn't team up for no reason either but we're all back, like Luffy said, all back together again. And I think things are really going to start to pop off in this lab because if we can get this door sealed, then it is going to be just a straight up brawl between everybody and I guess Caesar's sort of group. But Caesar is kind of outnumbered. I'm not going to lie. He has those foot soldiers. But I mean, honestly, man, they kind of suck. But now that Smoker's back in his body and all the straw hats can inherently be back if Lost switches them, I mean, bro, we're looking pretty solid. I'm not going to lie. But guys, that's been it for my reaction today. I hope you did enjoy drop a fat like on this video if you already and i'll catch you in the next one peace peace